Hi everyone, welcome to the Digital Signage Guide. My name is Tim and today we're going to be looking at HTML5 content, touchscreen content and what this means. Now when we're talking about HTML5 or touchscreen content, for simple terms, what this basically means is with your digital signage, you're able to go and touch and interact with the screen, just like you would do with any tablet or anything similar to that. Now, how do we achieve this with digital signage? Well, there are a couple of different options. So what we've got to the left and right of me here is what we consider just non-interactive screens. I can't touch or interact with them. However, with a range of these screens, especially the system on chip screens, you can actually purchase surrounds which cover the entire thing with a touchscreen layer which plugs into the USB via the back of the screen, allowing that to then become interactive. Typically what we do here at Signage Live is a couple of different ways that we can approach interactivity with touchscreens. Most of the time and predominantly the way that things are going, that's done via HTML5 which basically means, for layman's terms, it's a web page that's delivered to the screen. And there's two ways that that can be delivered. What we've actually got here is a room booking app, which we'll talk about in a little bit more detail in a moment. And this is entirely touchscreen all of the time. I can go and interact with it at any point. The alternative is to have an interrupt trigger. So for example, if you've got digital signage that you want to display some more traditional messaging with at all times, then you can have that on the screen. And one touch on that screen will interact and change the entire screen to your HTML5 content. So as a good example, if we're looking at a retail space, you might want to have a list of promotions, say for example, some really nice fancy watches that you want to promote, and then you want the ability for a customer to be able to go and touch the screen and then flick through your list of portfolio items, as an example. It may even go to the point where you check out, but most of that is actually done in the HTML5, the web page development, to make that deliverable. So what we're gonna to do today is actually walk you through how our calendar integration or our room booking app works. Now, this is just one example of a touchscreen uh, application that you can use. This is actually included for free in the Signage Live licensing. And again, it could be anything. So let's have a look at what we've got. So what we've actually got running here is a Bluefin screen. Uh, Bluefin actually runs BrightSign inside of it. So it's actually still a BrightSign internally, but B Bluefin is the company that makes the screen and the surround and everything that comes together. It also has uh, these lights beside of it. These are actually lights that you can change based on what's going on with the content on your screen. And this is an interactive room booking application allowing us to connect to either Office 365 or Google Calendars and pull from a calendar source and display that on the screen. These are ideal if you've got a room that you want to display what's going on, allow people to go up and interact with it and book their own time slots for later on in the future, or even extend a meeting that they've got going on right now. This is one example of touchscreen, and again, there are hundreds of different ones out there, but we're going to focus on this one because we've got the content already up and running. So let's take you over how we would set that up in Signage Live. Really, really simply, we've got our user interface here. I would go to our content and I'm gonna go and edit and manage a new playlist. We're gonna create a playlist that's actually just dedicated to that particular app. In the Signage Live Marketplace, we've got a range of apps that we can choose from. There are two different options for this, one which is Calendar, which is the non-interactive version, and then the other one which is Room Booking, which is the one that we're gonna focus on today. So if I go to my room booking, you can see we've got a range of different designs that we can choose from. Again, these can be tailored to your needs. These are just kind of default out of the box ones that look nice generically across the board. But if you wanted one with your own branding colors or logo, that can be easily achieved by getting that customized for you. The one that we've actually got running up on the screen at the moment is this one, the Bluefin room booking app. And I would just say, yep, I'm happy with that and add that to Signage Live. That then gets added to your content that you can pick what you want to deliver. I can go to my recently added here and then we'll put that into a playlist. Okay, so now I've got my room booking app. I can click and drag that over into my playlist and that's now configured. All I'll need to do is publish this to my player to make sure it's running as we've done several times in the past. So I'm not gonna cover that piece today. What we're actually gonna look at is how we configure this to our Google or Office 365 service. Now on the top right of my user interface, I can go to the calendar integration tool and you can see what I've actually got configured here already is this meeting room one. Now, if I go to my services tab at the top right, this will allow me to connect to whichever service that I want, whether it's Google or Office 365. You'll need to authorize that to make sure that you can actually connect it to make sure that you've got all of the rooms available to you. So once the room has been authorized and you've authorized it with your service of choice, you can then go and create a new room. And within rooms, all we're gonna do is go to new room, give our room a name, so it might be, you know, studio office. Select the service of choice, in this case it's Google, which then pops up 
all of our calendars. I'm going to have to blur this out. But obviously it gives you a choice of all of the calendars. You can also make your own calendars specifically for each room. So if you have multiple rooms, you can have these all configured in the way that you want. Once you've picked your calendar of choice and saved the changes, you'll see that it generates an API key. And this key is all we need to copy and return back to Signage Live. Go to our content and our playlist editor, take our room booking app and double click on it. At this point, we can just enter in the API key. We can also refresh our page just to make sure that this is working as expected. You can see the room's free now. We can also change the time format, hour to hour, uh, month, hour to minute, and date format, and a couple of choices that we have here as well. Once that's all configured, we'll then have our screen up and running and we'll publish it to this player and it will pick it up automatically. And that's the touchscreen version with room booking. And again, it could be any application. So let's take a look closer at what the room booking tool now gives us. And there we have our meeting all configured. So we've got test, test, organizer Tim, my email address, and the start and end time. And then all we need to do is book it. So this is just one example of what you can do with room booking, being able to schedule that in all automatically, but it's all HTML5, so it's all being built in that same way that we would do with any other system. So that's everything you need to do to get started with what HTML5 content means and what this means for you in a touchscreen capacity. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Otherwise, we'll speak to you on the next one.